Philips Willis the Whale is a child-friendly nebulizer compressor designed to make therapy fun and stress-free. With Philips highly efficient side stream nebulizer to provide fast treatment for children, treatment times can be as short as six minutes. This video shows the different steps to using the Philips Willis the Whale pediatric nebulizer compressor, including setting up the side stream nebulizer, preparing the medication, taking a treatment, cleaning and maintenance of the product, checking and replacing the filter, as well as storage between uses. It's important to carefully read the instructions for use before you use the Philips Willis the Whale for the first time. The proven Philips side stream nebulizer works by pushing compressed air through the tubing into the medication chamber. Side stream is designed to boost airflow via an active Venturi system resulting in fast drug delivery and short treatment times. It also has a unique diamond jet design which helps to minimise wear from frequent use and aids consistent delivery of a high quality aerosol. The respirable output of the side stream is increased by more than 140% compared to a traditional nebulizer. Side stream will provide consistent drug delivery time after time making a Philips Sidestream nebulizer an ideal choice for aerosol drug delivery you can trust. Place the Philips Willis the Whale on a firm flat surface near an electrical outlet in an area where the user can be seated comfortably during their treatment. Check that the filter is not clogged, dirty or wet and replace if necessary. Operating the unit with a dirty filter can impair proper operation and cause damage that's not covered by the warranty. Plug the power cord into the electrical outlet. Assemble the side stream nebulizer cup and air tubing together, as shown. Attach the other end of the tubing to the air outlet on the compressor. Both ends of the tubing are the same. When you're ready to add the medication, unscrew the top of the side stream nebulizer cup and pour in the prescribed medication. The side stream nebulizer cup is suitable for 2 ml to 10 ml doses. Screw the top back onto the nebulizer cup and attach either the nebulizer mouthpiece or the face mask. Don't lay the side stream down on its side because the medication will spill out. You can use the parking post on your device for securing the side stream when not in use. To take the treatment, ensure the user is seated in a relaxed, upright position and switch on the unit. Make sure mist is visibly coming from the mouthpiece or mask. If using a mask, place securely in position over the nose and mouth and breathe slowly in and out through the mouth. When the side stream begins to work intermittently and sputters, the treatment is finished. There is no need to nebulize every drop of medication. There will always be a small amount left in the medicine cup. When the treatment is complete, turn the power switch off and unplug the device from the electrical outlet. Always unplug the unit before cleaning. The device can be cleaned by wiping down the outside of the compressor with a clean damp cloth. Do this at least once a month. After cleaning, make sure the unit is working properly by checking that air still comes out of the nozzle when the unit is turned to the on position. Disconnect the side stream from the tubing. Unscrew the top from the medicine cup, rinse out the nebulizer and refill with clean water. Reassemble the top and medicine cup Reconnect the tubing and run the side stream again for a few seconds to flush out any drug trapped in the nebulizer jets. Disconnect tubing from the medicine cup and wash all items, apart from the tubing, in hot soapy water. Rinse all parts in clean water for two minutes. Shake off excess water and allow to air dry. Do not towel dry. Reassemble and store the side stream in a clean place when not in use. Once a week, 
Boil the side stream, but not the face mask and tubing, in water with two to three drops of dishwashing liquid for 10 minutes. Rinse all parts of the side stream nebulizer cup in clean water for two minutes. Shake off excess water and leave to air dry. Do not towel dry. Once dry, reassemble the side stream for storage. If you have a dark blue side stream nebulizer, it's disposable and should not be boiled. We recommend that you replace your side stream according to your instructions for use. The filter should be checked regularly and replaced when it becomes discoloured or dirty, clogged or wet. To change the filter, remove the filter cap by gently pulling it out. When replacing the filter, make sure it is fully inserted and twist it to lock it in place. Don't wash or reuse the filter and don't use the unit without one.